Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about one of the few custom made pens I have. And this specific pen is an Orville by Sean Newton. Now I have mentioned Sean Newton before on my channel when I did the Moon Man C1 video because that is a copy of one of his models. Um, it left me very conflicted. Um, I'll link the video below if you want to watch it. It's a very recent video. But I do have a real Sean Newton pen and this is the Orville in the Finnish watermelon fleck. It's like pink and green and um, it's not a colorway I would normally choose but it looks so unique to me that I really wanted to buy it. Um, I have a fine nib on this. Um, when I emailed him about this pen he let me choose the nib uh, and I just want to give you a close-up shot of this pen and I'll do a writing sample for you. Um, yeah, just show you what a custom made pen looks like um, and how exciting they can be. Alright, let's switch the shot. All right, here we have a close-up shot of the Oroville by Sean Newton uh, in the Finnish Watermelon Fleck. I always call it Watermelon Crush. I don't know why, but it, it's like crushed ice and then in watermelon colors and it's all kinds of lovely. Um, it's It was my first custom-made pen or like hand-tooled pen um, by a non-big brand. And it still holds a place in my heart because it's such a lovely writer and it's so pretty. It's quite a large pen for me, but um, I have never had any problems writing with this because it's not very heavy. Anyway, I just, I can look at this finish like forever. It's so cool. Um, clip, well, it's functional, it's kind of stiff, but it's fine. There's a little ridge here. Um, where the clip is set in there. Some ink has gotten in there, so I don't know how to get that out But probably if I had an ultrasonic cleaner, it'd be very easy um, There is no real like embellishment otherwise on this pen. Um, it's just Like cylindrical not very very like special or different um, So I said this is Orville. It's one of his Sean Newton's models. Uh, it's a screw cap Grip is in the same material, um, and I believe this is a Jowo nib. Um, he has his own uh, uh, sorry has his own logo on his nibs, and um, when you order a pen from him, you can choose your nib. So there's a nib uh, on there when he takes the pictures, but if you want a different nib size, that is fine. He can arrange that. Um, it, it came with a converter. I don't know what happened to that converter, um, but it's just a standard international fitting. So I have a fabric Castell converter in there. Um, you m might be able to eyedropper this if you put an O-ring here and um, put grease there, but I would be really afraid of staining this material because I don't know how that would work and if it's meant to be uh, done. So I would not do that. I would also would not advise it. Um, I inked it, um, to be fair, I filled the converter, I did not actually ink it through the nib because it had some ink in a different pen that I wanted to use. So I hope it writes like on the go, it looks like it will. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a gorgeous pen Oh, and I really like it. Oh, there is a logo on here, but you probably can't see it. It's the Sean Newton logo, it's right here. Um, I could try to... You can see like there's a mark there, but like it's not very special. As in it doesn't, it's not super noticeable. Um, because this pen is already fairly large, I do not post it. Um, you can post it, it's fine. It does become a little top heavy. Also, sorry about that noise. My dog is chewing a bone because she's a butt if I don't give her a bone and I'm filming. Um, but. Yeah, you can do it. I, I don't do it because it's large and top heavy, so I just put it away. Um, I'll just do a quick writing sample. Like, the nib is not like super special, but this body is just so gorgeous. I wanted to show you guys. Um, and his work is amazing, so I'll link his website down below uh, so you can see his stuff. He does a lot of things for charity too. That man is just, I think it's just an amazing dude. So, Sean 
Newton Orville Ooh, Orville and then I put this is a fine nib by the way fine nib I can zoom in a little bit so you can see the ink a little more um, the ink is Hiroshizuku Yamabudo which is one of my favorites it sheens nicely. Um, a cheaper alternative would be Dye Mine Robert. Um, but I do have like a side note for that. Dye Mine Robert is way more cruddy and really hard to clean and doesn't flow as well. Um, but it is fairly similar. It does also sheen more. So uh, Dye Mine Robert does sheen more than Eroshizuku Yamabuto, but this is the better behaving ink all round. Which is one of the reasons I love it. I, I also love Robert, but you gotta put that in a really wet nib. This nib is good. Um, I'm pretty sure that Mr. Newton knows how to tune the nibs to a perfect degree. It's one of the nicest fine nibs I have um, because it's perfectly wet. Like it's not it's not gushing, gushing, but it's nice and flowy. Um, I would not push this nib because it's a steel nib. Um, yeah, that is the the Orville watermelon fleck. I'm gonna write it down. I must say I've not seen this uh, finish show up at his um, on his website or on his Instagram. Uh, again, so I don't know if this is like a unique one or not, but it is a very gorgeous to me. Anyway, that was a short video about Sean Newton Pen, um, an Orville specifically, and one that I love. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about these pens or want to go look at his um, website, look down below or leave a comment and you will be amazed. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.